Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Now, considering tomorrow is Nifty expiry, let's get started with the Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis. As always, we'll keep looking at all the levels from all the time frames and try to see where the market is headed. Okay. Now, first thing to notice, according to the weekly analysis, which I posted last Thursday, I believe. So in that analysis, I told you market is constantly gone up, right? So this candle today, this week's candle can possibly a red candle. Now, why did I think this? Because price usually behaves like that. Okay. Now, currently we have two more days to go and this red candle, most likely it looks like it might hold somewhere here itself. So let's see, you know, like two more days where the weekly closing we get. And based on that, let's try to gauge what happens in bank nifty. See, there was this breakout also, right? Uh, at this level, this small, this range bank nifty was trading in this range. So even if bank nifty comes there, I expect it to go up a bit at least minimum. Because you know it will be taking support of the previous resistance. So till 46500 uh, on the weekly time frame, Bank Nifty should bounce from there at least. On the daily chart, okay. So the weekly view, we knew that there could be a red candle. But in the daily front, I'll show you even yesterday's candle. It was pretty tough to trade considering you know the big green and red candles which are forming. So currently, what I'm seeing is this gap which was there. It it filled the gap and is starting to slide down again. Now on the downside, this is a zone for me. This was the gap down day. So I took its high and the opening price. So this is a support zone sort of thing for me. Okay. The so market after coming down here, logically it should go up. So let's see if that happens or not. Okay. On the 15 minute time frame, what can I see? I can see, you know, that market is constantly going down. So usually what happens when shorters are in such big profits, whenever you get a gap down opening. Okay? So if tomorrow there's a gap down opening, I would advise like I would myself, okay, book the shorts. I'll probably also let the first half an hour go and not trade it in case this is a gap down tomorrow. Also in the 15 minute time frame, if you see this yesterday's fight between bulls and bears, this was a big, big area, right? So it means there is some kind of buying here. So let's see how the price reacts here tomorrow, particularly if it opens flat. So now let's look at Nifty mainly because tomorrow's Nifty expiry. That's the main concern. So Nifty on the weekly charts. Okay. It's, it's making a big red candle. Okay. So now let the week close. Then we'll try to see what the market will try to do in the next week on the daily front. What it's done. It's made a bearish Maru Bozo candle here, right? So most likely what happens whenever this happens, the next day, the current day's high is going to go to zero. Okay. That's the first thing. Second thing is if it opens gap down, we can get this kind of a candle. Okay, so I either pause and then you know for the day after day, if tomorrow's day low is broken, then we can play shorts day after. So for tomorrow, if it opens gap down, I think I'm expecting a, a pause or an up move. I'll give you an example. This is the candle which we have currently. Then look here also. Okay. And uh, these, these candles. Usually what's market doing currently market is like after like a big kind of selling kind of a thing. It opens gap down and goes up. So let's see if that happens tomorrow or not. If it ha does happen, we'll capture it. So let's see in 15 minute time frame, Nifty is fallen from the 540 points from the high approximately. Okay. So what does this tell me? This tells me that a lot of people who had shorts in Nifty, they are sitting with good profits already. Usually on such days, what happens, you know, so these shorters now they have to book their profits as well. Okay. They don't want to carry it for a very long target. So let's see what happens tomorrow. Generally after a selling day. Okay. If it opens flat sort of a thing, it tries to go down. If it opens gap down, it tries to go up. Okay. And a big gap up usually like turns into a volatile day. So there can be some volatility tomorrow. Let's see in Nifty. Actually this strike 20 to 300 actually should go to zero because see this was a support area. So whenever market comes there, it should like hold even if it touches there. So 20 to 300 call according to me has to go to zero. Let's see if it works or not. And uh, the current day high as well. I mean, all these strikes generally option writers, they sell those strikes with the view of making some sp like small profit. Okay, so let's see tomorrow. Then finally what happens this week was pretty tough. Even today's expiry. I think we didn't play anything great. This actually sudden movement actually threw us off. Okay. This distorted the price action. And which is why I think it's not easy then to trade. Like you trade very cautiously whenever such movement happens. Cool. So I think that's it for today. If you find value from all of these videos, please consider clicking the like button. It tremendously helps us. Okay. So let's try to keep the target for this video 300 likes. I hope we achieve it. 
and uh, we'll come with learning videos for you as well in the coming week on the weekend i haven't decided my topic yet and neither has nikki i'll tell you guys tomorrow mostly like what to expect from saturday and sunday cool then that's it for today i'll see you tomorrow thank you so much for watching and see you